Hi guys, so this morning I had the absolute honor of being on Channel 9's The Today Show, where I got to share my quick cash making, money making tricks to help you come up with money for the silly season. Christmas is only well, less than eight weeks away. And whilst at the beginning of the year we have the best intentions for planning and preparing for this expensive time of the year, often it catches us by surprise when we see Christmas decorations in the department store, which is what I noticed the other day. Anyway, I'm going to link in the description box below the clip from this morning. But on top of that, I've also made for you a video with my top 20 ideas to help you come up with cash quickly. Number one is babysitting. Now, I used to do this all the time and it actually acted as a double saving because not only were you earning money, it also stopped you going out and spending money. Number two is dog walking. If you love being outside and love dogs, why don't you do a letterbox drop and see who's in your neighborhood who would like some help in walking their pets. Number three is become an Uber driver. If you've got some spare time and a car, why don't you combine those two things and earn some extra cash, particularly on the weekends. Number four is air tasker. If you're particularly handy around the house, there are plenty of time poor people out there who will happily pay for your services and help around the house. Number five is market research. Now I have done heaps of market research and it's a great way to earn some quick cash because often they pay you after the interview. Now market research can be done online, sometimes in your own home and sometimes in a group environment and it's a lot of fun and really quite interesting. Again, I will link a couple of the companies that I've registered with in Sydney, but you can also register with companies online. Number six is sell your skills. If you're really good at applying makeup or know how to spray tan people or are great with a camera, why don't you market yourself and sell your skills and services? Number seven is market stalls. If you're good at making something, why don't you have a go at actually selling it at your local markets? I have seen people sell marmalade. I've seen people sell fruit and vegetable. I've even seen people sell hat pieces and fascinators for the races. And it's a great way to test the market while also making some cash. Number eight is if you're being paid by the hour, increase your hours. If you can, by working an extra three to four hours extra during the course of the week, this can really add up. Alternatively, you can try and change your roster so that you're working on weekends or evenings when there's overtime rates being paid. Number nine is get into the garden. Why not offer your gardening skills, even if it's just simple weeding and cleaning of people's gardens or mowing lawns? These are jobs that people will happily pay cash for if they don't have to do it themselves. Number 10 is sell your stuff. There are so many new websites and apps that make it really quick and easy to get rid of your stuff. You don't necessarily need to have a garage sale, although you can if you want. And the great thing about it being online is you can do it in your own time. Number 11 is start a blog. If you've got valuable content or great imagery that you think will benefit people, why don't you start up your own blog and then sell the banner ads off the back of that? Number 12 is rent your home out. Now there are great websites like Airbnb that make this process really quite quick, easy and safe. But you can essentially rent out your whole entire home or just rent out one or two bedrooms. And again, because it's all online, you control who rents the property and what dates the property is actually available for. Number 13 is get a location agent. If you've got a fabulous home and want to earn some cash, there may be people who are willing to pay to rent your place to film a commercial or a TV show. Number 14 is get a casual weekend job. Have a look in your local paper or online for local offices, restaurants, cafes, bars that are looking for extra casual part-time staff. Number 15 is start a new business. Now, of course, all new businesses need to be entered in with a lot of planning and preparation. But there are lots of people I know out there who've done extremely well in starting up a small business and letting it flourish. But if you do your research and do it right, it actually can end up being a great little cash earning business. A great example is a really good friend of mine. She recently launched a neoprene handbag business and set up a shop online so she can choose the hours that she works and still look after her daughters. Plus, it's a great little cash earning business. Number 16 is sell your services online. There are companies out there looking for people to do proofreading, data entry, form filling. And what's great about this is you can do it from home in your own hours on a computer. Number 17 is become a website and app reviewer. There are people out there who want to test prototypes of websites and apps and they really value your feedback and opinions of how that works and how user friendly it is. And they happily pay you for that feedback. 
Number 18 is become a delivery driver. Whether that be dropping off newspapers or working for a food delivery company, it doesn't matter. There are lots of companies out there always looking for new drivers. Number 19 is write and publish your own ebook. Today, it has never been easier to actually get a book out there and sold, especially if you can build up a social media following. Which brings me to my 20th and final idea to help make you some quick cash is affiliate marketing. If you have a strong social media following, you can get paid to promote certain products and services on your social media feed. Of course, you should always disclose you're being paid, but this is a great way of making some quick cash. I hope this video helps inspire you to make some quick cash if you need to. And if you have any other ideas that other subscribers would love to hear about making extra cash, please put them in the description box below. Because remember, sharing is caring. And if you are participating in the $1,000 project, make sure you use some of these ideas to help you get ahead financially. I myself am using most of these for the $1,000 project. So that's it for Money Monday. Make sure you check all the links in the description box below so I can make it as easy as possible for you to implement these ideas. And I will see you later on the week for a fashion video for lifestyle love. Ciao for now. Bye.